Jeremy Clarkson has issued a warning to Prince William after it was claimed the royal plan to drop the never complain, never explain policy. Jeremy Clarkson has offered a word of warning to Prince William about dropping the never explain policy, adding that it didn't work out very well for Prince Andrew. The former Top Gear presenter's comments come off the back of the Duke of Cambridge's royal tour of the Caribbean alongside Kate Middleton. The future king and Kate enjoyed an eight-day trip to three Caribbean islands that included Jamaica, Belize and the Bahamas. The 61-year-old has since addressed claims that the royal family may move forward with being more open and speaking out on public matters. But the Grand Tour host is convinced that it is not a good idea as he used Prince Andrew's current saga as an example. The Duke of York spoke out in a Newsnight interview with Emily Maitis back in 2019 about the accusations made towards him over an alleged sexual assault case brought to a U.S. court by Virginia Jeffra, a claim the royal vehemently denies. At the time, the Duke claimed that the photograph of him and Nez Jeffra, showing him with his arm around her, had likely been doctored. He also volunteered information that he was unable to sweat following his experiences in the Falklands War. Writing in his latest column for The Sun, Jeremy said, It was claimed this week that Prince William is set to drop the royal policy of never complain, never explain. I'm not sure this is a good idea. We all remember what happened with Prince Andrew. He added, There were all sorts of whispered rumours about his relationship with the pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, but instead of ignoring them, he decided to explain himself in a TV interview with Emily Matus, which went well. Because afterwards, the whispered rumours became huge rumbling shouts and he ended up giving P.S. 12 million to a woman he claims he'd never met. The car enthusiast went on to use high-profile politicians as examples of those who have addressed the public when a problem has come to light and added that it only has made matters worse. Jeremy addressed the former health secretary, Matt Hancock, who had an affair of his aide, Gina Colodangelo. And talking of stupid, Matt Hancock, only last month he donned an unwise polo-necked jumper and took part in an interview about the affair he'd had while the rest of us were hiding from COVID under the stairs. The columnist continued, And there is literally no one on earth who watched that and thought, Oh yeah, he's a nice guy he should get his job back. The TV star also recalled when he had to publicly declare that he had not used the N-word after it was wrongly reported that he'd said the derogatory term. While Jeremy appreciated that Prince William may have been squirming with rage after his Caribbean tour, was met with some criticism after protests were held to remove the Queen as head of state and calls for reparations over the transatlantic slave trade, he offered some advice after everyone was shouting at him. The TV star claimed that removing the policy could spark the end of the royal family. Well, your princeness, here's my suggestion, he remarked. Go into a quiet corner and spend some time kicking furniture to get it out of your system, because if you shout back, it'll cost you your dignity and us. Just maybe, the royal family itself... His comments come after sources previously reported that the days of never explain are over.